Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking an updated look on how to customize your RGB lights on a Ducky 1-2 Mini. Now I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who watched the very first video, which a link in the description, I'm here showing it here on the screen and you can click on the link in the top right. Uh, when I did my very first review on this keyboard, uh, I had the, the keyboard in a black color, I've now switched to a white, but that video hit 100,000 views uh, just a few days ago. So again, thank you so much for checking that out. I've gotten a lot of comments on people having colors stuck and they're not sure how to wipe it off um, and how to change brightness, how to change certain colors. So um, I've broken it down a little bit more in this video to help you customize your keyboard a little bit more other than just the, the eight presets that are set. There's also two different customized modes in which you could set a keyboard in the different keys and I'm going to help you. So guys, I'm going to try to leave timestamps down below uh, as I go through this. There's just going to be a few different parts. Uh, the first part we're going to go over are going to be the RGB backlit modes. So there's going to be about, you know, nine modes or if you want to call it ten modes with it off. And then I'm going to go over how you could actually customize. There's two different uh, zones that you could have. Um, and then you can actually customize those however you want, the different colors, and, and yeah. So if you wanted to check the description, if it's easier and you, you already know the backlit modes and you just want to see how you delete um, certain colors that are stuck on certain keys, then go down below, take a look at that. All right, so obviously the very first, uh, you know, how you're going to get the keyboard or if you want to just start from the beginning is having the backlit off. So you're going to hold FN, Alt, and his T to have it, you know, until you get it to all the keys are off. And then the next mode is going to be a wave mode. So that's going to be your default first mode. Um, second mode is going to be a color cycle mode. Your third mode is going to be a raindrop mode. Fourth mode is your ripple mode. Fifth is a random reactive mode. Your sixth is a reactive mode. Seventh is breathe. Eighth is 100% full backlit, which might be, you know, the most one of the most popular. Um, the ninth mode is a radar mode, and then again, after the ninth is, is turning it back off. So those are just your, you know, nine uh, default backlit modes that you could just cycle through. Um, and just a couple of hints here, and, I, and I'll go ahead and make sure I, I pop them up on the screen. But FN Alt J is to discrete uh, de is to decrease the speed on certain modes so any mode that's obviously moving like a breathing mode or uh, the wave mode you could decrease the speed or you could increase it by selecting FN Alt L now if you just want to turn off you know your keyboard at night or something you're just gonna hold FN Alt T for three seconds and that's gonna turn off all the backlit modes um, and that's also including what's gonna be the next section which is uh, your CM1 and your CM2 modes which are the two kind of profiles that you are able to customize in. So there are only a few of these preset modes that you could adjust uh, the RGB brightness in. So it's actually going to be the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th mode uh, that you could set these in. So I'll pop those up. And uh, in order to adjust the brightness, you could do FN Alt Z for the red brightness. There's 10 levels. FN Alt X, which is the green brightness, again, 10 levels, and then F and Alt C, adjust color blue brightness, and again, that's 10 levels. Now, F and Alt V is going to erase the red, green, and blue color setting if you're on any of the, uh, you know, modes that are in this, either the 6th, 7th, 8th, or 9th mode, uh, the ones with the gear icon. So, uh, what that's just going to do is just wipe it so that you could just reset it um, to how you want it. And then a very helpful one is the FN Alt Spacebar. What it's going to do is just pop up the color palette for you uh, in order to select a key that you want uh, the color on. And, you know, that's going to automatically match uh, to what you want to. If you're on the eighth mode, 100% full backlit mode, you can go ahead and hit FN Alt Spacebar. You'll see the color palette pop up. You want to select any other color, so maybe green. And then it'll go ahead and pop up for you as that color. So based on the comments from my first video that I did on this, this might be the most useful section for a lot of people. So this is the RGB LED zone customization modes. So you're going to have two different cycles. You're going to have the CM1 and you're going to have CM2. In order to get into CM1 and CM2, you're going to do that by holding FN Alt G or B. All right, so once you press FN Alt G, that's the first step that turns on the zoning color. Your second step is actually going to uh, turn on the zone and the color in breathe mode. 
the third step, which is again pressing it the third time, is going to turn off that mode, which is going to go back to the preset modes if you have those already on. So my recommendation is just doing, so you don't get all confused, is to hold Fn Alt T to turn off the colors and then select your customization mode. So let's just say you want to customize, um, you know, certain keys. Now, a lot of gamers, obviously, that will have this keyboard may want to do, you know, WASD, a couple of number keys, um, and, you know, maybe Z and C. So in order to do that, you're going to want to, you need to start recording. So you're going to hold FN, all caps lock, for three seconds. What that's going to do is it's going to light up the letters G and B. So for this example, we're going to do our second cycle, CM2. So that we're going to hit B. And now this is going to light up what we want, uh, the, you know, the keys that are lit up currently. So the keyboard is completely clear. So we want just WASD in this example, OK? In order to do that, you'll see that the caps lock is lit up a color. That's the current color. So if I was to hit WASD, that's the color that's popping up. So in order to change that, you hold caps lock. And now you have the, the RGB here. So now I have this blue color here. And now hitting the key twice is going to make that color. You're going to turn off the original color, and then you're going to add that color. And let's just say you want a totally different color on each key. Again, you just change whatever you want here and change it. And you could do that to any of your keys again. So what you're going to want to do is hold caps lock and shift in order to stop the recording. Once you're done with that, in order to show what you have just created, you're going to hit um, FN Alt B once the keyboard's off um, or once you're not actually on it. So I'll just show, go ahead and show you when the keyboard's off, you're just going to hold FN Alt B and you're going to see that your recording shows up here. Now a lot of people are confused because they're not sure how to get rid of it. So I'll go ahead and help you out with that. So in order to get rid of it, you're going to want to hold FN Alt Caps Lock again. You're going to hit the color that you're on and simply just click the key so that you don't want. And it's that simple. Again, hold caps lock, select the color. It'll show on the caps lock the current color. And you're going to select the keys that you want as that color. If you do not want that color, just select the keys again. And it'll turn off the lights. And that's what it'll be. So then you're going to hold caps lock again, left shift. That's going to stop the recording. And again, if you add it off, it's going to disappear. So now, in order to get that back up, FN Alt B, and now that's going to be your mode. And that's really all you need to know. So again, this is the, my second profile. My first profile you'll see here is actually the American flag I did. Um, I know the, the stars, or if you want to pretend that those are stars, are not in the white, but I thought this kind of just flows a little bit better. I'm showing the red and white stripes. So I did that as, my, as one of my profiles, and my second profile was just in, for the purpose of this recording. So guys, that's really it when it comes down to customizing. I hope that this was helpful when it comes down to it. I know I got a lot of questions in the comments that people were stuck on certain keys and how to change brightness, and, and I hope this kind of clarified it a little bit more. Um, if you do have questions, please feel free to drop another comment down below, or please reach out to me on Twitter. Um, you know, shoot me a DM and I'd be happy to work with you on getting the keyboard set up. So um, all that information will be down below in the description. And thanks again for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if this was useful. Hit the like button again if it was helpful for you. And we'll see you next time.